Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing a cheeky little Primark haul. One thing I will say before I jump right into the video is if you did click on this video because you thought you were going to see a lot of autumn and winter clothing from Primark as in like what's new in, you came to the wrong video because I only have three items of clothing in this haul and two of those are trousers. Most of the other things are makeup, skincare, accessories, thongs. I wasn't even going to film this haul because there was very little clothing items because I don't know whenever I watch a Primark haul I want to see what's new on Primark and I want to see some clothes but I don't know. I just thought I'd film it anyway. So welcome to my show and tell. So the first thing that I'm just going to lift is a pair of exfoliating gloves. These are to remove my dead skin cells. Anytime I always go to Primark, I always love to go around the beauty section where they do like their wipes, their makeup removers, their wee cotton pads, and just like wee things like this because they're so cheap and affordable and they're just like your everyday necessities really. And obviously if you do wear tan, these do come in really, really handy. And obviously if you don't wear tan, these also do come in really, really handy as well. Just to exfoliate your skin and just get all that excess skin off. And yeah, and they do come in a two pack, they come in a pink and white, so I'll probably use the pink ones to remove my tan, and then the white ones for whenever I'm exfoliating and I'm not tan, so they don't get all skanky and disgusting looking. Yeah, what even is this? This is a memory foam travel pillow. I didn't actually get this because I've gone traveling. I am intending on getting a load of new ear piercings, especially wanting my conch done. I'm wanting a load of ear piercings up here and in around my cartridge. I recently got like my lobes done, I would say about four or five weeks ago. And like your lobes are easy to heal. They're not even that sore getting pierced, blah, 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 blah. But I had noticed that I was just like leaning on them whenever I was sleeping and stuff. And they were getting a wee bit a bit crusty <laughs> but whenever I do get more piercings up here such as my conch and like cartilage piercings they are the piercings that you really really want to take care of in terms of the healing process and everything so I have heard of a lot of people getting a travel pillow to sleep on whenever they do get piercings so obviously you put your head here and then your ear just goes in here so you're not actually leaning on it and applying pressure recently I have been watching Dramatic Mac and she has been testing out some of their skincare items I think she has been trying and testing out their charcoal range so that's what actually got me really interested in and trait and actually trying a pre-march skincare range and I did notice that they have a vitamin C range which really appealed to me more and this is the vitamin C energizing jelly cleanser oh okay yeah this is what happens whenever you don't read the things that is oh a bubble um Oh, oh, more bubbles, oh! I thought it looks like a jelly cleanser, but there is a lot of exfoliant beads in there. Oh. I didn't actually realise that it was an exfoliant, which I don't mind. I would have preferred it wasn't, but it's no big deal. I'll still use it. It smells quite nice, actually. Oh. And I got these three pack makeup cleansing cloths. I love these wee cloths. I cannot live without them. I use them for taking off my makeup. I use them for taking off face masks as well. If you have like a clay mask and you find that it is a bit stubborn to remove, just use one of these cloths and it's really, really handy. So these come in a three pack. We have a pink, white, and gray, which is really handy. The fact that they have come in different colors. And these are only 2 50 for three, which is really, really good. But the only thing I don't agree with is the fact that it says here it removes your makeup with just water. Please do not ever do that unless you want to look like a wrinkled old hag by the time you're 30. No, no. Like I have the face halo. Is it the face halo? Yeah, like the halo thing. And I don't even remove my makeup with that and just water. I always make sure that I am actually removing my makeup with something, whether it be like, as I say, a cleanser or a serum or something that's like maybe oil based, just actually break down the makeup and just make it so much easier. No, <laughs> nothing is gonna be tugging on my skin with just water. Oh my God, they're so soft. Holy shit, this is the problem and the issue that I have with things like this is I never want to use them. <laughs> Whenever 
I first get them, I never want to use them because they're so nice and clean. And then obviously the first time I use this, it's going to end up looking as if I've wiped my ass with it because it's going to look brown with obviously my makeup and tan or whatever. These look very bougie, so I had to try them. So these are the two pack makeup removing mitts. Again, removes your makeup with just water. Bullshit. But look at these bad boys. Look how fluffy they look. Love my lion. First class number one YouTuber. Doo -doo -doo -doo. And these are just gonna feel absolutely amazing. I don't actually think I would take my makeup off with these because I just kind of find that they're too good quality, if that makes sense, and the fact that they are very fluffy. Um, I would probably just use these as like my final cleanse of the skin so that it is just a little bit more gentle on my skin after all the rubbing and tugging I've actually taken the makeup off so I thought that these would come in handy for just using it for my cleanser and stuff and please let me know if any of you guys have noticed this but Primark has changed their sizing oh my god so I would usually be like a medium to small on certain things whereas now I'm like a small to extra small with things how the hell does that work out like I have bought a pair of cycling shorts and I just automatically left it a medium and got home tried them on and I was like what the hell I've lost weight nah no you haven't hon you haven't um, and what size were they? I think they were literally a 12 to 14. A 12 to effing 14. I'm sorry, I might have a big ass and big hips, but I'm not a 12 to 14. I am a 10 to 12. So in pants now, I am an extra small. I'm disgusted. <laughs> I don't know if this is weird showing you my pants, but whatever. So I think everybody has these thongs from Primark if you're a girl. So I got them ones and then I got these ones here. I got these ones because I like the vibrant pink and obviously the neon yellow. And then I got these ones because of the blue. See if you're really, really nice and tanned and you wear like a royal blue brown pants set. <clears throat> exquisite. Anytime I'm in Primark I always make a point of going up to the menswear because I find that the menswear in Primark is really really underrated but I always make sure that I go up to the menswear to look at the t-shirts, the hoodies and just like the men's stuff in general because I just love like band t-shirts and like big oversized t-shirts. I noticed that the menswear in Primark has a PlayStation range. Oh my god! <laughs> I am going to be able to relive my childhood in a t-shirt. Now, I obviously will not wear this out. I just say is that now. But I just got this to wear to bed. I'm just lying around the house. The fabric of it is actually just like a football top jersey. And it has like the wee v-neck and it has like the thicker collar. And then obviously it has the PlayStation along the front and the logo. And then it has it down the sides. I have wore this before. I think you will see it in my vlog. But yeah, I just absolutely, as soon as I seen this, I was like, you're coming with me, love it, because whenever I was younger, <sighs> sad story commencing, I didn't have a lot of friends whenever I was growing up, so I played a lot of PlayStation games and video games and stuff, I absolutely lived for my PlayStation. 100% live for my PlayStation. I got these trousers here and they're kind of like a cargo pant and they have a cuffed bottom, if that makes sense. And then as you can see, they just have the side pockets going up the side and the print on them is kind of like that dog tooth style. And these actually feel like really, really good quality as well because they're not really thin, but they're actually quite like a thick material. And they're also a stretchy material as well, which I also like. And I really love like the checkered print going through them as well. And also if you look close enough, they are as I say like a dog to the style. So these next trousers are a pair of faux leather trousers. They are straight leg and they're wide at the bottom which I really enjoy. It just means that I can actually roll them up at the bottom. And I absolutely love the waist of these. As you can see they are like gathered which I find that's actually really flattering and then they obviously come with this wee belt that's actually also really in at the minute. You can actually take this belt off and you can wear it with like a oversized t-shirt or anything. Super, super soft, faux leather. And I got these again in a size 10 and these were 15 pounds. The next couple of items I got was just the hair clips because you can't go wrong and I have hair. And if you go to Primark and you don't buy jewelry, who are you? <laughs> 
I actually didn't see that much jewellery in Primark this time, but I did see these wee three pack of heart earrings. But as I was saying earlier, that I did get a second hole on my lobe, so I just thought that these would be quite cute. Just like maybe up here or something with like maybe two of them or like hoops and maybe a pair of these. Next up, all we have left is makeup. To me, this is the most exciting part. That's why I left it to last because I'm sure some of you probably will not care about any of this. So the foundations I got were the double coverage matte foundations. I got two shades. I got a nude and a toffee because I wasn't too sure what shade I was going to be. And now and again, I'm tanned and then I'm not and then I'm tanned and then I'm not. Correct me if I'm wrong, but is this the foundation that me me what was that noise? <laughs> what was that noise? <laughs> but yeah, correct me if I'm wrong, but is this the foundation that everybody was comparing to the Estee Lauder Double Wear? quite a wee while ago but this was actually the first time that I've actually seen this foundation in a Primark so I obviously had to pick it up because I'm nearly sure that these are the foundations that people were comparing to the Double Wear by Estee Lauder so you just can let me know about that but I'm quite excited to try these and just actually see how good they actually are because it says that it's the double coverage full coverage foundation it's a long wear matte finish it has an SPF of 15 I'm so excited to use these. And Primark has a loose setting powder. I love loose setting powders so again I had to try and find the lightest shade which again was ivory. Oh my god why is that open? And this is their loose mineral powder buildable coverage matte finish oil free and this was only two points and I don't know if you can see it or not but that's the colour of it there. I'm not wanting to open it just yet. I'm wanting to see if I can bake with that but I'm also wanting another powder to set my skin, my concealer, my foundation before I go in and bake so that's whenever this powder came in so this is actually a foundation powder and again matte finish buildable coverage in the shade porcelain comes with a little sponge that I'm not going to use and that's the color of the powder there it actually looks really 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 good for setting the under eyes because hopefully this is bright enough to keep that brightness and yeah love it I had a hard time finding a bronzer and then I came across this and this is the PS Beauty Bronze and Contour Duo. So it has a bronzer slash contour and then it has another bronzer which has a bit of a shimmer through it. Got that, not too sure how I feel about it but then I went back to where I got the pressed powder and I was like boom why don't I just get a really dark powder as a bronzer so that's what I did and obviously these weren't open so I was just kind of guessing with the sticker on what shade to get so this is in the shade cinnamon Ugh. love it I actually think that's going to be a really really nice bronzer we shall see we shall see I've transitioned I'm a blush girl I had to get two blushers. So I got the blush, high pigment blush, er, <laughs> that's literally what it says. It says blush, high pigment blusher. <laughs> um, so I got two shades, I got Carnival and I got Secrecy. I'll just open them up so you can see. And the packaging kind of reminds me of like a MAC blush, if that kind of makes sense. So that is Secrecy and that is Coral. So I am um, definitely looking forward to trying these. I absolutely think they're beautiful shades. I kind of wanted to get one that was a wee bit more subtle. So that's this one and it has a wee bit of shimmer through it. And then I also wanted to get one that had a wee bit more colour to it and was matte. And that's where this one came in. Love it. I actually seen this and I am punching myself at the fact that I didn't get the other shade because this is their Nudes Glow Iridescent Jelly Highlighter and this is four points which actually I was kind of thinking mm, that's a wee bit pricey for it being pre-mark but it's actually it's a big boy and this is in the shade oh let me see Oh, After Hours? Is that what it's called? But anyway, so as you can see, it's just like a white iridescent pink. Oh! Oh, it's wet! Do you know what though? I maybe actually will try this um, as a primer. That actually might work out because that's actually very wet. I don't know how that's gonna look. I don't even know if you can see that or not because I can't even see it and I'm sitting here in person. Looking at it. 
And then I recently purchased some of these liquid lipsticks and this is in the shade Hustle. One thing that kind of annoys me about them is the fact that they don't dry down matte. They're kind of like a lip velvet, like a lip whip, let's just say. Hence, shuffle. Um, so that's the colour of it there. I actually thought it was a really, really nice terracotta nude, especially coming into this season and this time of year. I just thought that'd be a really nice autumnal shade, especially for like a autumn makeup tutorial or something. But yeah, that's it there. And it does stay like that type of formula. It doesn't dry down matte or anything. Last but not least, this is the last item. I got a mascara. There was so many mascaras to choose from, honestly. But as soon as I seen this one, I had to pick it up because this packaging just reminds me of Too Faced Better Than Six. Yes, Primark! <laughs> Love it! So this is the Full Slash Queen Dramatic Volume Fullness Lengthening Mascara. My god. It actually does feel like even decent quality and everything, oh my goodness. We'll open it anyway and see the wand. Oh, so the wand is nothing like the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. So that's what it looks like there, quite promising. The wand is slightly bigger than what I would usually go for. Cannot wait for that mascara. Full face of Primark makeup coming up soon. But another thing I just want to say is, I know I might get a few comments and I am aware that I do not say Primark like most people. Here in Northern Ireland we call Primark Primark and if you're from the UK, Britain, wherever, you will call Primark Primark. Yeah, we just call it Primark, you just call it Primark and then if you're from Ireland down south it'll be pennies. So yeah, I just wanted to put that out there because I know the last Primark haul I done I always get like a load of comments, people ask me like, you're saying it wrong! No, I'm not. It's just the way we say it. <laughs> but anyway, guys, thank you so, so much for watching this video. I will link down below the video of me colouring my hair this colour if you want to go and watch that. And don't forget to follow me on Snapchat, Instagram and Twitter. They'll all be linked to down below in the description box. And I hope to see you all in my next video.